What's up guys, Tony here. I got another video for you today and I want to talk about Cardano. Uh, this is a coin that um, has been around for a while since 2015 and uh, has seen a huge growth uh, this month so far, up, I believe up 400%. I actually purchased some Cardano uh, maybe two months ago when it was about, I don't know, eight cents or something like that. Um, so I got in a bit early, uh, but it's seeing a huge jump and i'll talk a bit about why i think it has lasting potential because of the technology and um also go into what it is in a nutshell i'm not going to go too detailed but you know kind of give you guys a summary of what it is what's its mission and purpose and and what i think uh, will happen with cardano um, in the future so let's quickly take a look here at the market cardano is up to number six so it passed iota um so it is on the rise guys uh it almost seemed like it came out of nowhere but once again this coin has been around since 2015 and as you can see here the price um you know in, uh, early december it was like 11 cents now it's up to uh 52 cents here uh trading at 52 per uh per ada um so what is cardano so it's essentially a blockchain project with the coin ada as mentioned um, and it is known as the ethereum of japan and the ethereum killer uh, the reason why it's ethereum of japan is because i believe at the initial coin offering about, about 95 percent of the participants of the initial coin offering was were japanese um, and also it solves a lot of the issues that ethereum has so that's why it is being labeled as the ethereum killer um, and as mentioned, it's been around since 2015. It's decentralized, open source blockchain, um, and they have a great white paper. I, I took some time to read through that. I highly suggest you guys read through it. It's actually really, really awesome. Um, and it was established by Charles Hoskinson, uh, who was a co-founder of Ethereum uh, when he partnered with the Cardano Foundation. Now, what separates Cardano from other coins? Or cryptos well their approach has been um heavily research based so um, from a mathematical standpoint they had like scientists and so forth people on board who uh really took the time to do the research and go through what card uh, and, and essentially establish cardano and fixing a lot of the issues that uh previous coins have like ethereum and bitcoin and so forth um so that in itself uh, gives it that lasting potential because they work through a lot of the mathematical issues and the common issues that that these other coins such as ethereum are still trying to resolve or still haven't resolved as yet um, so it's coming from a ground level of research and, and mathematics and and being meticulously studied and and working through the issues and the problems so i i think that's a good place to start because you have many coins out there many companies with technology they actually haven't even, they put out a white paper but they actually haven't done anything or proven anything and i think these guys are a bit ahead for sure now if you're familiar with ethereum um, you would recognize the term smart contract and Cardano aims to become an advanced smart contract platform, um, having invented a new proof of stake method called Arobos, um, offering more robust features than Ethereum and other protocols. So like I said, that's why it's labeled the Ethereum killer because it's it, it's essentially does what Ethereum does way better. Um, so the ADA coin, uh, cryptocurrency of the Cardano network uh, proposed to to offer deeper functionality while also functioning quickly, efficiently, cheaply like Litecoin and offering the same kind of store of value we see in Bitcoin all in one coin. So it's like Litecoin, Bitcoin, and Ethereum merged together, solving all their individual problems and 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 in one crypto so that has potential we don't now we don't know what's going to happen we have to see because there's other factors that, that are involved with with crypto you know like bitcoin you know it's not the fastest it, it, it's, it's it's it has high fees and things like that but it keeps growing because um it has the branding it was the original um and litecoin has been around a while and it works well with bitcoin and they're currently testing atomic swaps and so forth but this is one of those coins where if I, and like I said, I bought some, if I were to invest and I'm looking for new technologies, I would, I would uh, take a look at this because um, 
it solves a lot of the problems. And, and we're really in the infancy uh, stages of the cryptocurrency market. Uh, think about the early 90s when you had different companies like uh, Yahoo, and you had different browsers like Netscape and so forth. And some of those are not even around anymore, not relevant, because you had companies came out and did things more efficiently, better, like Google. Um, you had like Firefox, you know, created a browser. And, and we see what has lasted, right? We look back, if you look back in the years and we see like, all these old sites like Alta Vista and all of these um, uh, old, old sites which didn't evolve or, or they had problems and then a new company would come into play and solve that issue and do it better. So something to keep an eye on, I believe Cardano has lasting potential. So essentially to summarize why I believe this has lasting potential and why it's, it could, could potentially do well, it's a third generation crypto because you had your Bitcoins and Litecoins, and then you have your Neos and Ethereums and so forth, second generation. It solves the issues of the previous generations, um, and that's why I think it has lasting potential. So it's something to keep an eye on, and it's still cheap, you know, about 50-something cents to get in, uh, but you may want to wait till it dips maybe. I'm sure it's going to dip, um, but I bought some. I may buy a, some additional ones um, here. Uh, you know, I'm primarily holding... Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Ripple XRP, and I have you know some of these additional altcoins, and and uh, Cardano is um, is really the one of those that I see potential in as well. Um, so I, I, it looks like you know overall because of the Bitcoin bullish market and the crypto bullish market, all you know the the tides are lifting all boats, right? The Bitcoin tide is lifting all boats right now. But also, um, I think uh, with more investors in the market, um, and, and a lot of the Asian markets are very bullish, I think they're starting to to uh, really invest in these altcoins, the ones that have potential. So as mentioned, Japan was heavily invested in it. Um, and uh, I think I like coins like IOTA and, and, and Cardano and so forth, I think are going to see an additional increase and rise. So... That's in a nutshell what Cardano is, why I think it has lasting potential. Um, we'll love to hear what you guys think. Have you heard about Cardano? Have you read anything about it? Or do you currently hold any? Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Um, um, thumbs up this video if you like it. And if you want to uh, get more videos on crypto and Cardano and so forth, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, but that's my thoughts on it. And I believe it, it should continue to grow in, in 2018. So uh, talk